Jarvis, drop my needle. Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of Venom Vlog, and I'm actually recording this Sunday night. Um, this is on uh, right after Christmas. I have my review, my full like conversation, discussion, ramble about Spider-Man No Way Home, full of spoilers. That will be going up tomorrow, um, sometime tomorrow, the day after this video. Um, and uh, and then also I have my the, one of the post credit scenes, like the, the major one that we need to talk about. Um, that is going to go up uh, probably the day after that. So for the next, you know, from today, tomorrow, and then Wednesday, uh, you'll get these videos, one a day leading up to Wednesday, um, to cover all the Spider-Man No Way Home stuff. And then we'll dive back into some of the comics. We'll get into the symbiote Spider-Man storylines that we haven't covered yet. And then I want to, you know, dive into um, Spider-Gwen at some point in January. I want to get through the Spider-Gwen saga. And then also we have Chillers Part 3, which I, I recorded like months ago and still never edited because <laughs> it takes a long time to edit those. Um, and I just haven't made the time to do so. So uh, we have that and I have a couple other things that I've already recorded that are audio only that I'll get out to you guys at some point. Ben Riley stuff, things like that. So, um, but for now I want to just focus on Spider-Man No Way Home and, and, and everything. And also Venom Let There Be Carnage. I actually have my copy here of Venom Let There Be Carnage. I got the Target exclusive. I bought this a couple days ago. Um, I just happened to be walking through a Target uh, before, you know, before Christmas and they had one left. And I was like, you know, if I was going to buy any of the versions that came out, I wanted this one because obviously we covered these artists on the channel. Um, each of these is uh, the artist that entered the art contest. And these were some of the winners that got picked uh, for their posters to be used for the movie. And... Uh, and they come with these cool little cards that show off that artwork for those artists. So I was like, you know, I'm going to get little frames for these and, and put them up, add them to the Venom wall at some point. And, uh, but yeah, that's, that's the version I wanted was this version because it came with these cards. Uh, I normally don't buy physical media anymore. I mainly just buy it digitally. Um, but this one, I was waiting for this edition and I figured if I couldn't find this version anywhere, then I would just buy the digital one. But I'm glad I found this. This is awesome because it comes with a digital copy anyway, so it's kind of the best of both worlds for me. Um, but anyway, so I want to talk about real quick Venom Let There Be Carnage. The, the movie just passed $500 million worldwide, which is something I was hoping it would do back when we were talking about um, when I first ballparked this. I was like, without a China release, I felt like it was going to end between four and $500 million, but I was really hoping it would cross $500 million and surpass even my expectations for the movie. And it did. It's actually past 500 million now. It's not going to go too much higher after that uh, now because it's you know it still doesn't have a China release. I don't think it's even coming out in China. I think China made it pretty clear they're not doing any Marvel movies or outside movies right now. Which you know for their fans that's got to suck. But at least these movies are coming out digitally, so hopefully they can own them at home at some point soon um, in China because I know there are Venom fans in China who really pushed the first movie, got, you know, the first movie made like over $200 million in China. And that would have been nice to see here, but, you know, for whatever reason, they chose not to release it over there. Um, I'm sure it's probably pandemic related and things like that. So I'm not trying to like harp on them completely. Um, but I also know that they have a really tough government. <laughs> and so, so it's, uh, and they, they want certain things to happen certain ways. And, um, and I think there was a falling out with Marvel or Disney or something like that. So I don't know really what's going on. Uh, there's a million reasons it could be. But either way, like hopefully the fans, though, that are of fans of Venom in China have, have the ability to see the movie now on digital or DVD, Blu-ray release, something like that. So, um, so yeah, so the movie did cross $500 million. I just wanted to say, you know, big congrats to Venom Let There Be Carnage for doing that. I know it's not as high as the first movie, but these are different days. These are different times. It's still a massive success. The movie cost $125 million to make. If you double that with marketing, you know, that's $250 it still doubled its budget, um, so, you know, or made its budget back, you know, if you count ticket sales getting slashed, you know, each weekend they get less and less, but they made a profit off this movie, and that's really all that matters in the end, and it's certainly, we're going to get another Venom movie for sure. They're already talking about the third one being in the works, uh, as we did a live stream discussing it, and we have Morbius coming out, and that's going to add on to that universe, and I would imagine the, depending on how well Morbius does, will probably determine whether Craven still happens or not, I'm sure they're still pushing for Craven to happen, but uh, I think it's going to come down to Morbius as well um, because Venom did great, but it didn't do like $800 million great. And I think that would have clinched Craven for sure. Um, but I think Craven's still in development, but I, I don't know. They, you know, Sony's had a lot of movies in development over the past five years that have not, you know, seen the light of day. So 
We'll see what happens with Craven after Morbius comes out, and we'll certainly review the movie Morbius when it drops in January of, uh, of 2022. Um, the last thing I want to talk about here is the box office for Spider-Man. Uh, as of today, the 27th of December, Spider-Man hit a billion dollars in 12 days, uh, which uh, I think Avengers Infinity War and Endgame hit two, uh, hit a billion dollars in like five days for Endgame, I think, and Infinity Wars maybe 10 or 11 days. So this is on the level of those two movies. Uh, and those movies had all of the Avengers from all of their movies. This movie had villains from previous Spider-Man films and then extra. And I don't want to get into spoilers on here. And I don't want you guys to in the comments down below. Save it because my very next episode tomorrow is going to be my spoiler discussion or ramble. Because really is, I just ramble the whole time. I rewatched some of it today and I was like, oh my God, I'm just aimlessly talking, <laughs> like just randomly. Um, so that will go up uh, tomorrow. So you can save all your spoiler comments for that. But this movie, with what it delivered on, um, which I think it still delivered on a great movie, uh, and, and it was a movie I was not excited to see when I was going into it, but I I really liked the movie, and you'll see my review tomorrow. Um, but, uh, but so this hitting a billion dollars, no China release, so it did not come out in China. This is just the rest of the world. Um, and it hit a billion dollars in 12 days during the pandemic. Um, now, granted, we're, we keep nearing the end of the pandemic. Every time this happens, like in the summer, it looked like we were doing better. And then like a new strand came out. And then we looked like we were doing better like a, like a couple weeks ago. And then Omicron came out or whatever. And it just seems like that's continually happening. But it seems like people, at least at, at this time of year, when they're with their families and they want to spend time together, uh, they didn't care. And there's a lot of people that missed out on the holidays last year too, because they were told to stay inside and not, you know, go to dinners and not do that kind of thing. And I know a lot of people didn't listen to that, but there, but a lot of people did too. I think this year there was just a lot less people that were going to listen to that. And they knew um, that this was going to be big uh, as far as like, you know, of course there's more important things in the world. Your health and safety are obviously first. Um, but if you wanted to have fun, you know, I hope you went and saw this movie because it is a blast. It is a lot of fun. And it's it's shocking a little bit to see, to see it hit a billion this quickly. But I'm also not surprised, on the other hand, because of, like I said, on what the movie delivers on. I think it, it delivered in the best ways possible of what it kind of promised. Um, so, again, I'm not going to get into spoilers here, but check out my spoiler review for my thoughts on Spider-Man No Way Home. That'll go up tomorrow. This, I just wanted to get this out first to let you know those videos were still coming. Uh, they just need a little bit more time to render uh, and, and, and me to work on a little bit. But there's not a ton of editing in them, but it's just the rendering. It's like a 50-minute video. I'm editing it down a little bit and then going to render it again. Um, so it, it's going to take a while, at least another day to get ready for you guys. So in the meantime, you'll have this, and we can talk about the box office of Venom hitting $500 million and Spider-Man hitting a billion um, at this time. So that's great. And both of these within the same weekend of each other hit those landmarks, which is awesome. You know, Spider-Man and Venom just cruising through, man. So I'm, I'm very excited for this. Seeing this news is awesome. Um, and I hope if you were out there and you saw the movie, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have thoughts on the movie, save it for the next episode. But if you have any thoughts on the money these movies have made, let me know that down below and we'll continue the conversation as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.